Okay, we're recording now. And then I'm just trying to figure out how to see who's on. Okay, Lauren, I've added, and Jean, I've promoted you to panelists. So um, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Can we confirm that you can hear us? I can hear you. Hello. Hi, I got Jean here. Great. Hi, Jean. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for Hello. confirming that we could hear you okay. All right. Uh, I think Jamie's going to be running the show from my side, so from our side. So um, I'll probably just put myself on mute unless needed. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Uh, hanging in there. That's good. I'm walking right now for you guys on the beach in Maine. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Give me some charity mouse. So here, I'll do a little. Uh, I was going to share my camera with you, but I can't do that. It's beautiful up here. Is it starting to get a little bit chillier? A little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit <clears throat> chillier. It, it was. It's actually nice out now. It's sunny out uh, for the first time in the last couple of days. It's nice. But it's beautiful up here. So anyway, I'll put myself back on mute. And uh, Jamie's got the ball. I'm here to help if, if necessary. Great. Well, we don't have any attendees yet, so I'm just going to wait until we see our first person, then we can get started. Monica, I haven't heard your voice yet. Just want to confirm you're good. I'm here. I'm having technical difficulties today. Okay, no problem. I can hear you just fine. Thank you. Oh, and, and um, PSMF team, are we recording this for people who can't make it? Yes. Great. So my thought is, even if we don't have anyone join us, um, that we can start at five past, record it, post it online. That way, it's still a resource, so. I think that's a great idea. Great. Sounds good. Did you ask, did you um, ask for RSVPs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had about twenty people RSVP. Oh wow! We'll give it thirty more seconds, and then we'll get started. Uh, I just noticed it says you don't have permission to play two media objects. So, Jamie, I'm requesting access. You might need to grant me access so that um, I can for you. The green button? No. Like, you'll just have gotten an email. Oh, account. I got it. Yeah, let me do that really fast. There they are. Here. Okay, great. Well, um, thanks for everyone who's joined in and tuned in today. Um, we will be recording this. So uh, for those of you who weren't able to join us live, uh, thanks for joining us um, in this recording. So my name is Ariana Longley. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. And we have a few other team members on the line. Um, so Monica, do you want to introduce yourself? Certainly. Thanks, Ariana. My name is Monica McDade, and I'm the campaign director for the Unite for Safe Care campaign. And I've been with the patient safety movement uh, since December. Great. I'm going to pass it over to Lauren. 
afternoon. My name is Lauren Rayner, the Chief Development Officer here at Patient Safety Movement Foundation, and I have been with the foundation for 365 days. Today is my one-year anniversary. Great. Thanks, Lauren. And uh, Maureen, um, our volunteer, I'll have you introduce yourself. Great. Thank you. Um, my name is Maureen Robbins. I'm based out of the Northern Virginia area, and I've been um, a volunteer with Patient Safety Movement for a little bit over two years. Great, thanks Maureen. Perfect, um, and then I'm gonna, uh, we have Charity Miles uh, leaders here today. So Jamie, I'll let you introduce yourself. Sure thing, um, hi everyone, my name is Jamie Mottinger. I'm a partnership manager with Charity Miles, working with some awesome organizations like Patient Safety Movement Foundation to help them fundraise and get the most out of the app. Great, and uh, Jean, since you're on the line as the founder, um, feel free to chime in if you'd like. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Jean, I'm the founder of Charity Miles. Walking my Charity Miles for the Patient Safety Movement Foundation right now on the beach in Ogonquit, Maine. And uh, on the tail end of a little family vacation, wanted to make sure I could join this. Um, we're truly honored to be working with you. You touched so many of the charities that we're working with and it's a cause that I know is important to a lot of our members. So. We're honored to be partnering with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Great, thanks Jane and Jamie for joining us today. So um, we're gonna get started. Uh, oh, here we go, now it's even bigger. Um, so the agenda for today. So uh, we're kind of going through our welcome now. Really appreciate all of you who have an interest in Charity Miles for joining and learning a little bit more about how you can get involved and make sure you're taking advantage of all the different uh, features of the platform. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why Charity Miles, why does this matter, why are we using this amazing program. Um, and then Jamie, we're going to turn it over to her to have her talk about setting up your account and creating a pledge page. And then we'll give you an example of a successful pledge that was completed, and that's Maureen from our volunteer um, uh, group. And then we'll have time for Q&A. So um, feel free to, um, since this webinar is being recorded, uh, for those of you who are joining in, you can leave comments and questions in the Q&A uh, section of the Zoom meeting, and we'll address those at the end of the meeting. All right, so um, today is September 11th, and we are a few days into our campaign, our Move for Safe Care campaign, and we have six days left. So we wanted to make sure that you all tuning in in your six days that you have left to be able to walk and run and bike and scoot and whatever else you're going to do to be active, that you have a really good foundation on to take, um, you know, take advantage of the platform. Our goal is to collectively walk 200,000 miles together, and we think we really can do it. Uh, we launched this uh, campaign in April with a small group of volunteers within the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. And I believe to date, um, we're over 65,000 miles that, that people have moved. So we're definitely on our way to 200,000 with this, the six days left. So second part is why Charity Miles? We really, you know, if you're just getting to know us, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation is the organization that's hosting this Unite for Safe Care campaign. We've been around since 2012 and our kind of core competency was helping hospitals put in place processes to make sure that the patients and the health workers in their systems um, were safe. Now is the time that we wanna bring awareness to the public. You know, patient safety and medical errors have been a relatively silent epidemic running throughout our system for the last several decades. So, Medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the United States alone, and it's estimated that it's the 14th leading cause of death worldwide, killing more people than HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. That's a lot of people. That's almost 5 million people that are losing their lives due to preventable errors that are happening when they're seeking care in the hospital. So this whole campaign from September 8th to September 17th is really, really important to raise awareness. And why September 17th? September 17th was designated by the World Health Organization last year in 2019 as World Patient Safety Day. So this is our second annual global event um, that's you know, endorsed by the World Health Organization. Why not start to bring the public into the conversation and give you the opportunity to learn and educate yourself and become a better patient and a better advocate? 
So, you know, I mentioned before that 200,000 people and more, we, that's our best estimate right now. It, it's, you know, over 200,000, could be up to 250,000. And some estimates say it could be up to 440,000 people who are dying every single year, not just in one year, like we're seeing right now with COVID, but every single year people are losing their life. So our goal was during this campaign to raise awareness, let's walk one mile to represent each life. Every single life matters. And for those of you who have been with the patient safety movement for any amount of time, know that zero is our goal. We cannot um, focus on any goal other than trying to get to zero preventable deaths because every one life matters. So this is a great way to acknowledge every single person who has lost their life in this last year and all of us collectively moving those miles to acknowledge and pay tribute to those people. The other thing is we have an incentive for you. Um, we have decided that the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in an effort to continue brand awareness and awareness of the issue, that if you all uh, walk over 50 miles or, or run 50 miles, uh, between September 8th and September 17th, we can see your progress um, through reports that we get through Charity Miles, and we will send you a free Unite for Safe Care mask. It is reply. It's um, to the WHO standards for what um, they're recommending currently, and it's uh, just a very nice mask that we'd love to give you during these still pandemic times. Um, and we know that some of you bike, and so we didn't think it was quite fair that you could bike 50 miles, because some people do that in one day. So we set the goal for if you bike over 100 miles, we'll send you a mask. So we wanted to use this as a, as a way to continue encouraging people and, and giving them kind of a prize for getting involved. So again, we're all cooped up. We know that people want to make a difference. And one thing that's really important about Charity Miles is for someone who's just starting to learn about the work that we're doing, you can raise awareness without donating. You know, lowest barrier to entry. You're going to walk your dog. You're going to walk yourself. You're going to go on a run or a bike. The least that you can do is, you know, make sure that those miles are counting towards uh, an organization that you care about. The second piece of that is for those of you who do believe in the message, the mission and want to help spread the message, you can help by asking your friends and family members to donate. And that's when, um, you know, Jamie in a, in a few minutes here, we'll talk about the pledging component of the, ac the actual patient safety, or sorry, <laughs> actual patient safety solutions. My brain is fried here. Um, uh, to, uh, the, the pledge campaign. And hey, I know I said this before, but if you have a dog, you've got to walk him or her. So you might as well rack up the miles while you're um, out there with Fido. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to Jamie. Cool. Thanks, Ariana. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Fantastic. Um, so I'm here to tell you how to set up your own account within the Charity Miles app. Um, so in any publication or email that you've gotten from the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, they've either included this link that you'll see on the screen right now or um, the QR code at the bottom. If you're watching and have not downloaded the app yet, you can actually point your camera right at that QR code. It will take you right to the app in the App Store um, for iOS or Android, and that will take you um, to the download page. We encourage you to use this as opposed to just going to the, um, the app store. You'll get a personalized onboarding um, for patient safety if you use either the link or the QR code. And on the next slide, I have actually recorded my screen to show you in kind of real time what it looks like to download um, the app and what it all looks like. So if you want to hit play, I'll kind of talk you through how that goes. There we go. So this is if you were just click that link or press that QR code. There's the, the link again right there. And so then it'll take you to the app store where you'll want to download the app by clicking that same download button that you see for any app that you've downloaded on your phone. It'll take a few seconds to download depending on your connection speed, but the next page you'll see it's going to say welcome to Charity Miles and it'll actually put an icon right on your home screen. This is what the Charity Miles app looks like. Um, the first question will enable GPS and motion later, but you'll click enroll now. And then it'll ask you all these super fun questions. Welcome, thank you for 
supporting the foundation, um, fun little picture. The next question, are you new or returning? And this is gonna be new, unless you've used charity models before, then you do returning. Um, and then we're gonna get you set up with an account. It'll ask you for your name, your email, and your password. And I do encourage you to use your first and your last name just for patient safety's um, records. They'll know who you are. And I created a pretend one as I was creating this account. I've got lots and lots of charity balls accounts set up. Just entering the information, a password that you'll remember, and click sign up. The next screen will take you through setting up the rest of the app. We'll want to enable motion tracking and GPS so that you'll know how far you walked. Um, and if you're walking indoors, it'll do the motion sensor. So you'll want to select Sure Am and then allow all of these pop-ups that pop up right now so that we are able to track your movement. There's the question about notifications. You'll want those as well. Just click Allow. You can change this at any time in settings. If you change if you decide to change your mind all right so here here we go every mile matters this is what the app looks like so this is your pedometer screen or your home screen um, the first thing if you haven't already enabled GPS and movement tracking it's going to ask you to do so so if you plan on cycling or walking um, you want to select the applicable options there and then I'm going to take you on a tour so see it auto populated my 1784 steps on the bottom left is going to be kind of um, some interesting podcasts that Jean has done with some really interesting people, some super motivational stories um, on this page as I scroll down. The next thing across the bottom as the team, well, we're going to skip the recording for now. The three people linking arms, that's your team page. And the team page that's been set up for um, patient safety is March for patient safety. And then the one person along the bottom, that's your profile page where you can edit your photo. You'll see how many miles you've done, how many sessions you've done. So the record an activity is the middle button and you'll wanna choose the activity that you plan on doing that day. Here is our um, activity screen and you can see it'll show you who you're walking for, how many miles you walked during the session, how long you've been walking for the session and your miles per hour. You definitely wanna be sure and click finished when you are done, um, that's how all the information is given to our system. And that's how Patient Safety Movement Foundation can track all the miles that you're doing. Um, and if you were behind the camera right now, you'd see me shaking my phone. I'd enabled motion. It doesn't track anything under 0.1 miles. So for me to show you everything else, I wanted to get to 0.1 miles so it would track my activity. I'm walking really fast there at four miles an hour. See that mileage slowly creep up. I'm talking really fast because I guess I recorded my screen faster than I can speak. Good thing I talk pretty fast. Almost there, 0 0.083. We need to get to that 0.1. Then we'll show you what you can do on the next screen. Oh, you might need to fast. Yep, there you go. Perfect. You're trying to fast forward a little bit. Thank you. Almost there. I promise it doesn't take more than about 30 seconds. It happens. I promise. I watched this video. <laughs> there we go. And then you click finished and it'll ask you, are you sure you want to click finish? And that's how your miles are recorded. This will take you to a really cool screen. You can actually take a photo and where it says 0.1 miles for the patient safety movement foundation, your picture will be right behind that. You can share it to Facebook. You can share it to Instagram, to Twitter. Um, if you click those three buttons on more, you can actually send it via email. You can send it via text. Um, to anyone just to track your progress. And the more you post to social, the more people know you're doing this, the more apt they'll be to donate to your fundraising, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, so there you go. You see I tracked 1 point, 0 0.1 miles, one session. And as you track more and more miles, those will go up and up. I think that is the conclusion of that video. That's how to set up um, the app on your phone. And go to the next page. So here's just a quick diagram of what it looks like a little slower um, without that video. So along the bottom, the pedometer, the inbox, how to record a workout, teams, and then my profile. And then what we're going to look at next is actually 
the pledge page form, which you'll find by settings at the very top right. Perfect timing. Let's hit it. So this page is just a really cool way to show how big your impact really can be. So let's say you're doing 100 miles. You ask for 50 cents per mile. If you do 10 people, you'll get $500. If you increase that, so will your donations exponentially. Then you click more. Then you'll want to sign me up. That will send you um, an activation link in your inbox. You choose your mileage goal. You choose your date goal. Make sure you've got patient safety movement selected. And then here is your profile. Um, you'll definitely want to edit this with a picture um, so that when people get to your page, they'll know it's yours. Here I am typing again. Making errors. And once we're off the video, I'll talk a little bit more about how and why. So you can um, start new fundraising campaigns at any time. So if you click settings in the top, pledge drive at the very top here, this is um, your pledge page on the back end. This is where you can edit um, your link, where you can end it if you finish your goal and you wanna start another one. This is where you can add an image. So then if you click view pledge page, this is where you see what your donors will see. So if I had added a picture there, it would be there. Click um, how many miles I've completed so far. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, I think it kept getting tripped up there. Um, that this is where they make their pledge, like however many cents per mile they wanna do. They'll enter their name, their email address, and then they'll stay up to date on your progress. So um, once you hit your goal, they'll be sent an email that says, congratulations, Jamie met her goal. If you haven't done so already, here's where to make a donation. Or they can do it immediately after they make the donation. What it does, it redirects you to Patient Safety Movement Foundation's donation page. This is something important to note. Um, the, the donations they're giving are not going through Charity Miles. They're going directly to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. So there will be that redirect and it'll look a bit different, but it's the official page for patient safety. And then I wanted to show you how to share it. So if you're on your pledge page, you can click either the top address bar and copy that and then share it in any way that you would share anything else from your cell phone, the three dots at the bottom or the little square at the bottom right. You can tweet it out, you can email it out, you can distribute it however you want to. And I believe that should be, I think it cycles through a few more times, but that's the end of that photo, that video. Awesome. So just a few things to note. Um, the more people you ask, the more cents you raise per mile, the more miles you walk, um, people will want to donate to you. And um, perfect example of that with Maureen here. She has a great fundraising success story and I'll actually turn it over to her. Oh, just one thing to add before I, you can also connect your Strava. If you do fitness activities through Strava, we can help you um, connect Strava to your Charity Miles account. And now I would like to turn it over to Maureen to talk more about her experience using Charity Miles to fundraise. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm excited. I mean, thank you for inviting me to, to share my experience with Charity Miles. Um, it was definitely an incredible 30-day uh, experience. Um, I never did any type of fundraising like this on social media. So I have to admit, I was excited on one, one side to be able to, to do this and raise money um, on behalf of something that I'm passionate about, patient safety movement, but I was a little nervous as far as getting everything set up. And um, Jamie and Jean made it very, very easy, um, helped me connect it with the Web page that I set up for my for my dad, Advocates for Joe, on Facebook, and um, it was you know pretty smooth after that. Once we got it set up, it, it was really pretty easy. But it was definitely great every day to get up. I consistently for 30 days, uh, my goal was 220 miles, and um, I would walk those miles. I would post something special about that walk. Um, I had a walked on the beach. And when I was walking on the beach, I actually um, saw two pieces of, of um, wood that was in the shape of a cross. 
So I posted that. And then another day I would post things in regards to what patient safety movement is and why I was passionate about it. So um, I had people messaging me saying how excited they were for me to do this. And, um, and so by the time the, the 30 days ended, it was, it, it was really an incredible, incredible journey, not only creating awareness for patient safety movement, but also raising money for an incredibly great cause. So thank you to, to Charity Miles for, for that journey and helping us um, make that happen. And thank you, Maureen, for um, all of your work. A lot of your donations that since, as you know, uh, Maureen, we had to reconcile, but actually Maureen raised $1,959.11 with a total of 15 donors. So thank you for all of your work. You, you made that goal of 3,000 and you're almost there. So, <laughs> so thank you. Thanks. All right, sorry, I keep having trouble finding the little Zoom bar to unmute myself. So um, really appreciate, again, Maureen, you've been such a great example um, of someone who, as you said, you know, you hadn't been involved in a lot of fundraising um, online before. So uh, you've been a, a great success and thank you so much for your help and uh, continuing to raise awareness around what we're doing. So at this point in uh, our program, we're about halfway through, we have plenty of time for questions and answers. So um, I'll be looking at the Q&A section um, to, to answer any questions that anyone might have. Hey, Ariana, this is Gene. I have a question. Sure. So I have a question for Maureen. I have a couple questions for Maureen. First of all, Maureen, thank you so much. Um, really incredible what you've accomplished and we're honored to be a part of your journey. You said that you hadn't really done much fundraising before. Um, how many posts did you put on Facebook? I might have missed that. Or how many like different fundraising asks did you put out in order to be able to earn all that money? Um, so I uh, went through Facebook. I mean, I posted every single day, sometimes twice a day. Um, definitely with a picture of, of something um, that I, you know, just kind of um, inspired me along the walk. And um, I happened to have been at the beach for a couple weeks. So that was, there were some really great shots there. But, um, but I reached out through there and uh, through Facebook mainly. And then through Charity Miles um, I was posting out too. So. Um, and did each of those posts ask people to sponsor you or are they just sharing your Charity Miles? Um, I, I would every other day basically ask and, 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 put in there an update on where I was at, what my goals were, and really what the ask, um, you know, why I'm doing this and what the ask is for them to participate and help me in this through Charity Miles. Great. You know, and one of the reasons I'm going to ask this question is because sometimes people will say to us that they don't know how to ask. And so I'm curious if you have any um, advice for them as to the, the phrasing that you would use when you actually made the ask for people to sponsor you. Um, a lot of it was around um, the actual, you know, what happened with, with my father. And so I started out with making sure that I posted about the story and why I was very passionate about patient safety movement. And then from there, tried to build that story and continue to, to add um, the reasons it's important for um, supporting an organization like patient safety movement, what it's going to do, how it's going to help. And, um, and what my involvement was. So I think, you know, with, with that, more and more people kept, um, you know, coming back and asking me questions, calling me. I had friends calling, going, how, you know, what do I need to do? I'm, 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 some, some of my friends weren't um, on social media as much. And so I was um, texting them and sending them information and then they would go in and I would help them make the donation. Um, but I think it is very important to, to talk about why, you know, what the, why you're doing the walk. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess one, maybe one and a half other last questions on this part, um, and they're slightly rhetorical, but um, did you ever, did you feel um, shy about asking when you started or did you feel like you, you didn't want to, you didn't want to ask your friends because you were afraid that they might might be annoying them or anything like that. 
Well, it's funny. I mean, I should have said um, up front, I'm, I'm in sales. So I'm used to yes. um, going out there and, and being in front of people. But I, you know what was the first time for me, which was a new experience, is actually um, doing a fundraising, asking, like you said, friends and family over social media. <laughs> I've really never right. used it like that. I've always used social media just on Facebook and um, kind of keeping up to date on with friends and family and things like that. But um, I realized how easy it was once I kind of embraced it and 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 in being able to get the message out. I mean, I don't think I could get a message out like I did to as many people and friends and family if it wasn't through something like Charity Miles, a platform like that. Um, that's what I, you know, right. social media is really where we where we need to be and people, you know, are, are, are reading. So um, once I got past the putting my picture out there every other day or posting and, and, and it was fine. I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, at the end of the 30 days, it was, it was actually, um, it was kind of emotional when it ended because <laughs> I really enjoyed every day have, um, watching the miles come in. Um, and as um, Jamie was showing, I, it's, it's just really cool as every night when you see it um, update and you see yes. all the miles that you did. It's, it's, I'd go out just for another walk in the evening for another mile here or there, so yeah. it was fun. I love that. Yeah, people always say it makes them want to walk around the block again. Did yeah. you, um, did anybody donate that surprised you? Like someone that you didn't think would, like you just like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, because I do it and sometimes I'll get like friends from high school that I haven't heard from in 20 years or, you know, uh, people that don't even know me on LinkedIn and things like that. But it's interesting when I, for me personally, when I see people that I'm surprised, did anybody surprising? Yes, yes, that's exactly right. Um, there was a, a couple, uh, actually, um, old managers that I had in my early 20s, if you can imagine that, that I was on a Facebook with that donated. So they that's were, awesome. just, yep, and um so, and, and the one thing I was going to add is after this was all done, I mean, it was just so great to have connections and, and, and hearing things from people and um, some of the stories that they shared about their family is, you know, I did go back and, um, you know, personally write notes to to everybody. Thank you notes. Yeah. And, um, the kind yeah, that's, of, that's a great touch. That, you, know, that, you know, close the loop at the end of the, the journey there. Great. Um, and then, and this one is definitely rhetorical. And I'm gonna ask it because again, sometimes people will say, oh, I don't want, I don't want to ask my friends to sponsor me because I don't want to annoy them, which I don't want to be the, the person that's annoying them asking for money. Um, did anybody ever write to you and tell you that they were annoyed with you for asking no, for posting uh, on Facebook? <laughs> no, no. And I mean, I, I think the thing is, is that's what I liked about it is, is I mean, you can, five cents a mile. I mean, whatever you want to put. And I would be thrilled if somebody even did $15. I mean, it's, it's, right. that's fine. I mean, and I think you look at it as, you know, just every dollar counts. I mean, so, uh, and, um, but I definitely feel like it was, it was great. I, I was out of my comfort zone and, and I feel like it was, um, especially during this time, challenging time with COVID, it was really, really good and rewarding to be able to do this. And um, I'm excited to do, um, you know, do this again. Um, I'm sure we'll be having another fundraiser with Patient Safety Movement through Charity Miles. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much, Maureen. When I saw what you were doing and the amazing progress that you were making, um, it really was exciting for me to see that. So congratulations and thank you for sharing this with all of us. I will uh, stop monopolizing the questions here. Um, just wanted to say thank you and really appreciate your support. Thank you. Appreciate I think it. another really important thing to um, add, Maureen, also is that a lot of um, your every, pretty much every um, donor that came in, your friends and family sent a message and posted on our fundraising page. And you could tell that your friends and family and colleagues love you and that they really appreciated you sharing their uh, personal story. I just I was able to clip in two of the um, Two, two of them, somebody's circling them. So, um, but you had, you had a great team of supporters. And I think that's really important to note. So thank you for sh sharing your story. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, they, and I do think that I think once 
this was out there, it also brought another level of awareness versus just me kind of sharing this with, with friends and family over the last couple of years. Uh, this was definitely something different that, you know, we haven't, you know, I hadn't done with patient safety movement in the last couple of years. Maureen, this is Monica. I just personally want to say thank you so much for sharing your story. It's very brave of you. Um, can I ask a personal question of you? Do you think that, um, how has the experience impacted you? Do you, do you feel any healthier? Do you feel tired? Are you, um, it sounds like you're happy that you did it. Um, and, and were you able to inspire anybody else to take action as well? Um, and that's a great question. Um, yeah, I, I will have to say that at, at the beginning of COVID, um, I, I've been with um, my job. I worked for a company called CoreLogic for 29 years, and, and I was used to being on the road. I was extremely busy all the time, and um, it was it was kind of a, a really um, a halt when everything happened with COVID. There was no travel. We didn't know how we were going to connect with our customers. All of a sudden, everything was Zoom. And when Charity Miles came along and I started working with you, Monica, on the upcoming March, this really kind of just helped me, I mean, personally, um, find a way to crawl out of this COVID <laughs> mess and, and, and have some kind of structure, you know, every day of, of um, and, and, and also doing something that I was passionate about and giving more time to something that I really love doing, you know, and I thought if I had this extra time, I'm not traveling then let, what, what can I do with patient safety movement? What can I do with charity miles? And of course, it was, it was fantastic to be able to get out there and to, to get exercise. I was really active before and it went about a month or two with not doing much of anything until I got back with charity miles. So on that level too, it was great. Great, you're an inspiration, thank you. Oh, thanks. Well, great. Um, any other questions before we wrap up? Uh, this is Monica again. I did have uh, one question that had come up during Maureen's campaign was, um, what if they don't, uh, what if the pledgers don't want to go per mile and they just want to make a straight donation? This is Jamie. I can chime in there. Um, they can absolutely do that. So when they go to the pledge page, um, when they're directed to the Patient Saving Mo Movement Foundation's donation page, they can at that point put in whatever they want to put. That's just how they get there. Um, so by going, for example, to Maureen's pledge page, it would redirect them to the page and they can make whatever donation they want to. Great. Thank you. Yeah, and great point. I'll just um, add in here that I did a similar um, 100 mile campaign in the month of May. And what I saw was that the based on kind of the um, cents per mile that my friends um, wanted to pledge for me, I actually saw in all cases that they donated slightly higher amounts. I think sometimes, you know, it would calculate $23 and 44 cents, you know, um, something odd. And, and in every case, they rounded up, not down. Um, so it was, it was always nice to see that, but they, you know, just, they rounded up. <laughs> I was worth the extra, you know, $2 and 63 cents or whatever it was. So Oh, and one more thing I want to throw in before we wrap up. Um, if there are ever any issues or questions um, that people have about Charity Miles, um, we do have a, um, an email address, support at charitymiles.org, that will be answered within 24 hours. So if there's anything that comes up, there's a ton of information in our FAQ document that will answer a lot. But if there's something not in there or um, if you have an issue with your, your particular phone, um, if you'll include the, the make and model, if it's not um, an iPhone, then we can help troubleshoot it a little bit better um, that way. Great, yeah, and you guys have amazing resources on your website that in many cases we've mimicked or um, you know, uh, directed back to the videos that Jean, you recorded. Um, some of those are super, super helpful. So just wanna remind everyone that um, is watching now that if there's a question that's still unanswered, um, charitymiles.org slash FAQ is a great place to go. Um, and if you're on the Unite for Safe Care website, Move via Charity Miles is uh, the best place to find many of those frequently asked questions. Um, one thing I will highlight, because I know that we do have, and I know the world is blowing up on Peloton, 
Um, there is uh, integration um, so that you can track your miles on a Peloton smart bike. Um, so if anyone out there is thinking, oh, well, I don't go and ride bicycles um, in real life, or not, that's probably not the right term, but out in the open, if you have a Peloton inside of your house, um, you can make those uh, miles matter too. So with that, any last comments from the rest of the group? No, thanks. This has been great. Great. Well, thank you all. Thank you, Maureen. Uh, thank you, Jean and Jamie. We really appreciate your help and support. And, uh, and uh, again, support, especially during this week where we're getting closer to 200,000. So um, every day, uh, every business day, we update our website uh, to give you a new look on how many miles we've walked. And uh, so check back on Monday if you're curious where we, where we are. And um, we'll have three days left at that point. So really appreciate you all and have a wonderful weekend. Great, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody.